Molly. Oh, hey. Smile. Things could be worse. I'll smile when I got reason to. How's things? Anyway, I'll leave you to it. All right then, Arthur. Howdy, viewers. Brad Proprietor, Barstool Entertainment. Kind of doing a, another Red Dead Redemption 2 challenge video. In this case, I'm actually doing the hunting, the final hunting request. The fourth hunting request that Arthur can do before you have to wait until the epilogue for John to finish up. And the reason I haven't been documenting these is I really wasn't thinking about it. Now that I've got the fourth request, I'm going to do that. And you have to get a frog and a toad carcass. Best way to do it is go down to Copperhead Landing, and you'll find all kinds of frogs and toads around where you can try and shoot with a game arrow and get the best one. In fact, I'm going to do the frogs and toads pretty much right about now. Now, in this area, it's very marshy. You can find a lot of frogs and toads hanging around. It's raining, which helps. To be honest, make sure you are very positive it's a three-star animal, like not that, and take your shot. And you want to be kind of as close as possible as you can get. And when you take your shot, be 100% sure that's not a good frog. And again, you just keep running around this area until you find one. And again, be very careful of your shot. And that is two of the items, your animals you need for the request. Next is going to be the, I believe, sparrow or songbird. And I'll show you where I got that. Now you can hang around the old fort and shoot at birds that are available. The songbird doesn't do very well around the fort, but the sparrow is one you can find around the sport. I'll show you where you can get songbirds, and that area is also where you can find a sparrow if you need one.
you can hang around the fort all you want. It's very hard to get a songbird for some reason. In this area of the river, it's where the feral man is usually. And I found you can get both sparrows and songbirds, but you got to make sure they are at least a three on the, uh, whatchamacallit, three stars. And if they aren't, don't bother shooting them. And I just missed this one, but there will be others. And the thing is, you just got to hang around this area. They like the perch on the rocks and like the other area around it. Again, this is where the, oh yeah, right here, songbird. And yeah, they seem to like the perch on this double rock. And I got a songbird. Last on the list it is a skunk, and I'm going to show you where you can find them quite easily. Okay, if you come out to Bulger Blade in this area, skunks are nocturnal, so you want to come out at night, and you want to kind of do your skunk hunting at night. List complete. Now you want to mail them out. And what's interesting is after Arthur mails out the last collection of animals, a day later he will get a, a letter. But let's mail out the animals first. Hello again, sir. Just so you know, it's a few hours before the next collection. Now, Arthur has to wait 24 hours before he gets his reward. And he will get a reward, but he will also get a letter from the lady he's sending the packages to. Good to see you again, mister. Thanks, mister. Now, if you open up the letter, and you look at it, it explains she's going to 
um, Oregon to visit friends and she will contact Arthur later with other requests. It's presumed that she will be in Oregon when Arthur dies and thus has no way of contacting him and ultimately it will be John who has to do the fifth and final uh, hunting request. If you found this video interesting, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, plus some shorts and specials, and you want to stay informed. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.